I am just giving you the rough idea about the sensory tracts in the spinal cord. Dorsal column system, spinothalamic tract and spinocerebellar tract. Dorsal column system, we are also saying it dorsal column medial lemniscus system. It is for the fine touch which includes the tactile localization and tactile discrimination vibration sensation and proprioception and these fibers runs in the gracile fasciculus and cuneate fasciculus on the dorsal side of the spinal cord next spinothalamic tract it includes the lateral spinothalamic tract and anterior or ventral spinothalamic tract lateral spinothalamic tract for the pain and temperature sensation and ventral spinothalamic tract for the crude touch and pressure sensation. I am giving you just rough idea about the tract. For example, this is the right side and that is the left side. Alright? Now first dorsal column system. Inside the dorsal column system, once the sensory fibers or afferent nerve fibers enter into the spinal cord, it ascends on the same side till the medulla oblongata. After the medulla oblongata, it crosses to the opposite side and ascends and go to the different areas of the brain. That is the dorsal column system. Alright. Now the next spinothalamic tract. Inside the spinothalamic tract, Whatever the sensory nerve fibers or the afferent nerve fibers which enter into the spinal cord, for example, this is the nerve fiber enter into the spinal cord. It crosses to the opposite sides at the same level and then ascends and go to the different areas of the brain. So this is what the difference between the spinothalamic tract and dorsal column system. The same thing for the opposite side. Okay, so this is what the difference between the two tracts. For example, left side of the spinal cord having the lesions. So it will cut the fibers which carries the sensor information from the right side of the spinothalamic tract and on the same side of the dorsal column system. And this is what the here it is the brown sequard syndrome. So the brown sequard syndrome occurs in the hemisection of the spinal cord. If the one side either right side or the left side of the spinal cord is damaged then there is a hemisection of the spinal cord and what will be the effect on the side of the lesion dorsal column sensations which includes the fine touch, tactile localization, tactile discrimination, vibration and proprioceptive sensations are lost. On the opposite side of the lesion, pain, temperature and crude touch sensations are lost because there is a cutting of the anterolateral system 